the Google Play Store on your Amazon Fire Stick. We're going to talk about that in a minute, guys. I'm going to show you how you can access all 3 million apps which are on your Google Play Store on these devices, whether it's Fire Stick, whether it's um, an Android TV box, say. It will work on both. And this is a new update to a video we done a long, long time ago. Before we do that, though, first things we're going to need to keep you updated like this is for you to hit that subscribe button underneath. Make sure you ring the bell next to it as well so you can stay up to date with all the latest update videos, everything we have coming for you to make this work. And as you see, we've got tons of videos all over the channel for your Fire Sticks, your streaming, everything along those lines. So, if you're a regular watcher, please help us out with a share and keep coming back. What we're talking about today is getting the Google Play Store on your Fire Stick. Right, let's stop it straight away. You cannot get the Google Play Store on your Fire Stick, but we can get an app store which accesses the Google Play Store, okay? And you can get every app from the Google Play Store on your Fire Stick. So anything you wanted from that Play Store, you can download on your Fire Stick. I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. I'm gonna show you how to install it first before we open it this time, mainly because we need to go through a few steps on setup I wanted to do on video for you. So. To do this, first we need to do is go to your find, go to search, you type in here downloader, D-O-W, and you will see it come up straight underneath, downloader, you click there, here, here you get the option to open or install, um, get it installed and do not open it yet. From here, we then go back to our home screen and across to settings. I'm going to go nice and slow on this one because it's a really important step-by-step -step guide. Settings, um, My Fire TV, Developer Options, ADB Debugging, turn that on, and Install Unknown Apps, okay? Click Install Unknown Apps, go down to Downloader, turn it on, okay? Get that turned on. Brilliant. Back to your home screen. Now we need to find that Downloader app again. So if you can't find it, you need to either search it again, so you just search downloader, or you might find it on your home screen, okay? I'm gonna open it up. Right, once you're in here, we type in and go to my website. So the link is directly underneath. So if you're doing this on a different device, um, you just type in docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads. It's linked under the video. So you can follow it on your phone first if you want to, click it, come and have a look. Anyone using the downloader app, you can type in 757 two, six, to make it a little easier. We click go, then we wait a few seconds. This is a prime opportunity for you guys to drop me a comment, let me know you're still watching, let me know any questions you may have, and I will try and get back to you. And obviously, we hit that subscribe button. Right, we need two apps from this web page, okay? We need, we scroll down, first one we need is go to app stores, is the Aurora App Store, Google Play replacement for Fire Stick and Android TV. It's just had an update, so some of you may have had it in the past. Okay, and then you click download. And that will download straight to your device in seconds for you. And then behind my head, let's turn that off. You click on install. And then you click done. Do not open it yet. Now you get the option to install or delete. We now delete because we've installed it already. This is just the install file. So you can delete that to save storage. Right. Now on the page here, just push back button on your remote. Go back to the downloads page. We also will need mouse toggle. Okay. So you can click mouse toggle. Same process. Get it downloaded. Same thing here. Mine's an update this time because I've already got it installed, but we need the mouse toggle for some of the navigation on the App Store. App installed, done, and then delete again. Brilliant. Now, back to our home screen. So push home, back to your Fire Stick itself. Right, we need to now find these apps. They will install at the bottom of this little bit here. So go across to your three squares and the plus and yours will both be at the bottom here, okay? Mine is there. Problem is, it doesn't have an icon on it, okay? So if you're struggling to know which one it is, if you hold down, um, push the free line button, go to uninstall, it will tell you what it is, okay? Aurora Store, are you sure? And we cancel that, we don't need to. Right, you also would have downloaded mouse toggle, which has this icon, which should be next to it. Open this up just to check it's starting. 
Enable the mouse at the top, or to start the mouse service on device startup. Mine's all ready, it's all running. So we go back, we're gonna go into the App Store. Okay, so we've got a few things to go through here. If you ever wanted to check out the license or anything like that, you can. Please read the terms and conditions, we accept. We can go to next. Just telling you about what's in there. System, follow the themes. You can change the theme if you want to. Go dark. I like dark themes normally, but we're just going to go next. Change your colours. I don't need to worry about that in a minute. Right, what we need to do now is quickly just grant some um, permissions. Pretty much because it needs to be able to get into your external storage so it can store everything you download. Obviously, it needs to be able to manage that and it needs to permissions to allow the actual installs. So to do this, we need to fire up our mouse toggle. And to do that, you double tap the play button and it comes up, okay? You can then click on Grant. We click Allow, and that's granted for us. If you have any issues, just back out and go back in again on that one. And then obviously we need our mouse toggle again. And we need to grant the installer permissions, okay? This is similar to what we did at the beginning. So install unknown apps, and then you scroll down to the store we just installed. Here it is, and turn it on. And go back again. And we're back in. So everything's granted now. So we can click finish. Next up, we get to log in. You can log in with your Google account. But I suggest going in anonymously. But if you do want to go in with your Google account, that is because if you have apps that you've paid for, apps you've paid for in the past, you can log in that way and get the ones you paid for, obviously, off your account. But anonymous obviously keeps you safe. We like to do everything anonymous if you can. So you just click it. And that will load us into our store. So we get a few bits in here. You can move around, you'll see some premium apps, some suggestions. You can scroll through. Some scruff you can scroll, just scroll along. Other bits you might need your mouse toggle to select. You know, it's all here for you. And if there's anything specific, you can obviously hit the search. You can search in here, type in any app you're looking for. Another great thing we have within this is what it will detect, say if you're on your NVIDIA Shield or even your Fire Stick, it will detect you're on a TV device, okay? So what happens there is, as it thinks you're on a TV device, you then need to make it think you're maybe on a mobile phone to see other apps. So you can actually spoof the device so it thinks you on a different device so you can install apps that you don't think are compatible. So you can pick up anything down here which you want it to be, whichever device you wanted, select one and then you can reboot it and it will load up different ones for you. Okay, so we can select one there. And then we can log out again go back in anonymously and it will give you other options and everything like that so you can reboot it you might need to clear the cache or anything like that but you can spoof your device to get different options to install and that's it guys they all then you can just find something you want to install click install it no problem no problem at all click big install at the bottom there team viewer is no good on a fire stick for me but you know, it's as simple as that, guys. Use your mouse toggle if you need to, so you double tap the play button, and you've now got access to all the apps that you might have been missing from that Play Store. So, I hope that one helped you out. If it did, remember to hit subscribe. I tried to go as slow as possible. If you got stuck or lost at any point, just rewatch. Drop a comment with any issues, but again, I get so many comments across all my channels, hard to always find them. If anyone has any questions and they want to catch me live, I am live tonight and most evenings on my gaming channel, which I'll link underneath as well. Um, we've got a live stream at 8 o'clock, but you can ask me any questions while we're there. And obviously linked underneath, quick word from one of our partners. If you're after a VPN, IPVanish VPN is linked directly underneath for you at $3.75 a month. This will help keep you safe online for your online security. Everything along those lines to stay safe for you, okay? Powerful internet privacy. You can use it on unlimited devices, including your Fire Stick mobile phone, everything like that. More information on that is linked underneath for you as well. Brilliant. As always then, I've been Doc Squiffy on the Doc Squiffy channel. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe, drop me some comments, and I'll see you soon.